You know, these snarky comments are so much fun to respond to. And if you hear noise in the background, it is my dog playing with his soccer ball. And I'm not going to stop him, so you'll just have to deal with it. I am not saying um, that I blame her for how she feels. That she blames the defense counsel for everything that's going on. Um, I also think the social media harassment that she's gotten is not okay. It's not okay. But what is also not okay is to not keep your composure on the stand. Okay, let me rephrase that. That might not be the best way to say it. Her testimony is coming off as um, confrontational. It's coming off as defensive. And those things almost always will not bode well in the eyes of a jury. Because if you look at the comments, the comments are going to be comments that at least some of the jury also feel. So her self-righteous act isn't going to help her and isn't going to make her believable. So while I don't blame her for being pissed off, I don't blame her for being mad at the defense counsel. I don't blame her for blaming the defense counsel for the social media uh, witch hunt. She can have all of those feelings and I don't blame her for that. I do blame her for how she is handling herself on the stand. And that if her answers and what she has to say, she wants taken seriously and she wants the jury to believe how she is handling herself isn't going to do it. So no, I don't know how I'd react if I was in her exact situation, but I do know that the way she is reacting isn't going to bode well for her in the eyes of the jury. I have prepped so many witnesses for jury or for testimony. I have been part of so many trials and I'm saying this from my experience. This self-righteous act, it, it isn't going to go over well.